<laughs> hey, Brother Roy here, Old School Bible Baptist Ministries. Uh, you know, I have mentioned before, if you uh, are a regular viewer of my channel, that I am not a math guy. I'm telling you, when I back <laughs> when I was in school, that was my worst subject, all right? But the math I'm fixing to show you right here is simple enough even for me. <laughs> Amen. And it's just another demonstration of the absolute divine perfection of the King James Bible. Irrefutable proof of God's hand on this book in a special way. Let's pray. Father, we love you today. We thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for our salvation. Lord, we thank you for the King James Bible. Thank you for your word, inspired and preserved without error today. Uh, give, uh, give this old jailbird from the slammer uh, a, a little, bit of, little bit of sense as he tries to juggle numbers in his brain <laughs> and let this be a blessing and glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. Okay, uh, I, I'm going to show you something today that occurs only in your King James Bible, does not occur in any of the modern translations. It does not occur in the Greek, and it does not occur in the Hebrew. This is God's uh, one of one of hundreds of similar similar situations, occurrences of phenomenon that if, that is just God's thumbprint, His divine stamp of approval on the King James Bible. Here's what I want to show you today. Okay, go to the first verse of the Bible, Genesis 1-1, and go to the last verse of the Bible, Revelation 22-21, all right? Get one in one hand, get the other in the other hand, okay? Uh, and uh, I'm going to go fast here because you can stop the video and count for yourself if you don't trust my math, and I encourage you to do so. You got to see this for yourself with your own eyes. Amen. So what we're going to count are words, letters, vowels, and consonants. Or they should have taught you this in school, but the letters that are vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Okay. All the rest are consonants. All right. That that's you should have got that in second or third grade. Anyway. All right. Anyway, so that's what we're going to count. And so as we go to Genesis 1 1, which says, in the beginning. God created the heaven and the earth. And if you count that up, you will find that that is 10 words. All right. That is 44 letters. And those letters break down into 27 consonants and 17 vowels. All right. There, that's that verse. Now, we'll go to Revelation 22, 21, which is the last verse in the Bible. All right? And Revelation 22, 21 says, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Okay? So, if you do the counting there, you will find that your letters match up, 44, all right? You will find that your consonants match up, 27. You will find that your vowels match up, 17. However, you get two extra words in the New Testament. You've got 12 words. Okay, well, that is kind of interesting. Why are there two more words here than there are here? Okay? Now I'm going to fix to show you something that's going to blow your mind. Words are names. Names are words, okay? 
So we're missing two words in the Old Testament that aren't revealed until the New Testament. Go with me to 1 John 5, 7. We're going to do words and vowels. We're going to do letters, and we're going to do consonants. Amen? All right. First John 5, 7. And remember, First John 5, 7 is not in any other Bibles, any new Bibles, 1 John 5, 7 has been removed. 1 John 5, 7 is only in your King James Bible. Amen? 1 John 5, 7, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. So when we're talking about the word of God, Jesus said, I'll speak my own words. He said, I speak, I speak the, the words I heard with my father. So the father is responsible for the scripture. And Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and life. The, the, the son, the word is responsible for the scripture. And then we get over in the New Testament and we, we hear that a scripture came not by the will of man, but holy men of God were moved by the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Spirit, the, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit are corporately responsible for the Word of God. Amen. And you know what? In the Old Testament, we just knew about the Father. We didn't know that the Son, the Word, and the Spirit were also part of the triune Godhead. That was not an Old Testament revelation. That was something that we got from the Lord Jesus Christ in the New Testament. So when we were dealing with words, if there was two names left out in the Old Testament, hallelujah, it might have been Word and Holy Ghost as part of the Godhead. Amen. So that's the two words missing in the Old Testament. <laughs> is a hey, there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, they knew about him, but they didn't know about the Word and the Holy Ghost. We got that over here. Now, is that just a coincidence? <laughs> We're gonna do a little bit more math, right? Here's your math right here. Take your Old Testament and your New Testament, put them together, huh? Add up, add up your words, huh? Bam, bam. That would come to 22, right? All right, then add up your consonants, amen? Your consonants should come to 54. All right? Then add up your letters. They should come to 88. All right? And your vowels should come to 34. All right? If you add this, these to these, this is what you get. And you can go do the math in a minute. But if you count up the words, the letters, the vowels, and the consonants of First John 5, 7, where you get the revelation of the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and the two words missing here, you'll find that First John 5, 7 has 22 words, 88 letters, 34 vowels, and 54 consonants, which is exactly Genesis 1, 1, and Revelation 22, 21 added together. If it was just a coincidence, 
<laughs> My good friend, Dr. Bill Grady says, a coincidence is just God's way of remaining anonymous. And this is just one of countless instances where you can find the numerical perfection of God in the King James Bible. You won't find it in the New Bibles. You won't find it in the Greek. You won't find it in the Hebrew. This book right here is the only 100% pure and perfect thing existing on planet Earth is the King James Bible. This is the bread the Lord thy God hath given thee. God bless you. You know I love you. And we'll see you on the next one.